health crisis in India today is kind of very, very apparent, especially with our generation. Incidents of heart attacks among Indians are on the rise. Why heart attacks are suddenly claiming young lives? When I say our generation, I'm literally speaking of people from the age group of 27 to 42 or 45. The health issues concerning men and women is rapidly changing. India happens to be the diabetes capital of the world. Over in India, younger and younger Indians are becoming inflicted with type 2 diabetes. India is also of the capital of cancer in the world. There are a lot of cancer patients, there are a lot of people who have diabetes and India also has a huge population which actually has hypertension, hypothyroidism and other related issues. But over 11% Indians are diabetics while 35% of people suffer from hypertension. There are a lot of issues from, from a pregnancy point of view that women are facing and there are a lot of sexual health issues that even men are facing in our country today. This collective mess that is happening with the health crisis, whom do we blame this on? Do we blame this on our sedentary lifestyles? Do we blame this on the food that we eat? Do we blame this on the environment and the pollution and so on and so forth? Whom do we blame these things on? You can't blame anybody for these things. But the only thing that you have to understand that these, this crisis is actually coming out in the open and people are now looking into it and trying to address this problem from a solution point of view. Like I say in every single video that we make on Indian Millennials, that we love highlighting the problems. We love talking about problems and hell, we love cribbing about every single problem that's there in India today. And that's just an Indian trait, I believe. We love talking about the problems, but we never, never like to work on the solutions. But this crisis, the good news is that there's also work happening. There's work happening in the insurance sector, there is work happening in the healthcare sector and there is also work happening from a periodic health checkup point of view sector as well. So if you watch this video till here, please make sure that you smash the subscribe button and like our video if you like it. And please let YouTube know that you're enjoying our content so that we get more visibility going forward. But now coming back to the health crisis that we are talking about. The health issues in India today are purely based on variety of issues. You can talk about lifestyle changes, you can talk about food habits changes, and you can also talk about the, the kind of stress that we are taking because of the work that we are doing as well. But that being said, being healthy and being on a fitness level perspective is a different conversation. But I'm talking about a conversation after developing these problems, what do we do then? Today, access to medicines have become much more easier thanks to a few government schemes. Health insurance is much more easily available to every single person, again, thanks to a few government schemes. I made a detailed video about the medical insurance sector and how it is changing and how it's very important for each and every one of us to actually pick up a medical insurance. Make sure you please watch that video as well. And the link is right here. Now, that being said, today there's access to even telemedicine thanks to the free availability of data thanks to the availability of abundance of information and a lot of apps that have actually solved this problem there's also access to that now the issue is that how soon do we realize when we get these problems do we think we are very young or do we think that oh man i have a lot of issues again we need to understand this if there is a slight issue that we see the first thing our generation loves to do is ja, ja, ke mere go on Google and first thing we do after going on Google is say that we write whatever we are feeling and what does Google tell you they will tell you everything that you want to know it could be a minor headache to a brain tumor a minor minor uh, this issue to cancer everything is told to you and the first thing that catches your attention is the highest disease <laughs> as in you assume everything that's wrong with you is because of you know, a cancer or something. And that's why when you go to a doctor, first thing that each and every doctor tells you these days is leave your Google doctor-ness outside and then talk to me. Because even doctors don't want to hear you assume things about your own health. That's one major thing that we have to learn doing because these guys are professionally trained to tell you what is wrong with you and what is right with you and you have to take care of that. We are in India, which is a land of Ayurveda, which is a land of Ayush, we are also now 
seeing and observing a growth in alternative medicine. When I say alternative medicine, I'm not talking about mumbo jumbo here. I'm talking about basically herbal treatments for regular problems. The growth of this industry also speaks volumes because people from across the globe are actually using this particular medicine to improve their health. And so are we. And this is also accessible. So the good thing is that we are getting access to all these things. Whereas the bad thing is that statistics are not in our favor because we happen to be the epicenter of all these health issues. Now, how do we solve this problem? To solve this problem, one has to really take a deep understanding of what they are doing right in their own life first. That's number one. And number two, millennials, we are all either young parents or we are all to be parents or we are all going to plan or get into get, in, get, get ourselves a family somewhere in the future. The last thing we need is our offsprings to have these sort of problems going forward, right? So the way to deal with all these issues is to understand your own health patterns and also consult and use the technology and the services available to you and make yourself aware of actual government schemes. Because these schemes, unfortunately, for no goddamn reason which I can understand, are not marketed to any of us. We are marketed everything that is trivial but real stuff is never marketed and the fact is that this government has done a lot of good work in the health sector and they have not marketed it but it's important for us to look into it understand it and use it and if we use it hopefully we become a much more healthier country going forward because right now we are not such a healthy country we do not have the right infrastructure to even promote things like simple like walking and running on the roads because unfortunately I've said this so many times our footpaths are like two-wheeler lanes in, in India so we don't have places to run we don't have places to walk and we don't know because when you're walking you can't look straight because you have to look down because you don't know when you're going to fall that's the sorry state of our infrastructure that way but at the same time know that there are certain facilities also that the government has done look into it read it understand it and use it before it's too late this is the health crisis there's a solution also ready all we have to do is mix them both and use them i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope you subscribe to our channel and for more such videos stay tuned for the indian Minutes channel because we'll come back with much more content that will entice you to know the real truth about how our country is doing right now until next time, this is Rohit Kurpad with a sweaty face because of the Bengaluru weather saying goodbye and Jai Hind.